As an audio engineer and studio owner, efficiency is key to my business. I like to get things done efficiently because it helps me keep my rates affordable to my clients. So today I want to share with you five incredible Mac apps that have really improved my workflow and overall efficiency as an audio professional on Mac. I'll demonstrate the usefulness of these apps through real life scenarios of my own that you might also encounter as a musician, audio engineer, or music producer. All the apps will be linked in the description so you can pause and check them out anytime. The one app that has by far made the most difference in improving my efficiency on the Mac is Dropover. Dropover is an extremely powerful yet straightforward file management app that really uh, makes things easier on multiple aspects. Essentially, what it does is you can put any files on a dropover shelf that always floats on top of other windows. You can do this by shaking the files like this. It might seem weird at first, but it's actually really convenient. Or you can do it by using a shortcut. And then from a shelf, this is where the magic happens. First of all, you can copy or move the files to other folders directly from the shelf. This function alone was mind blowing for me. For example, let's say I'm working on a mix and I want to import into my DAW a few uh, effects samples that are scattered uh, in different folders across my Mac. Instead of using the file browser in the DAW or the Finder and then imp uh, importing one by one, I can just add the samples to a dropover shelf as I find them. You can drag from the DAW file uh, browser or the Finder depending on what you like. And once you have all the samples on a shelf, you can then drag them into your DAW directly from the shelf. Or if you want to take a listen to them before importing, you can also do a quick look, a quick listen on a sample directly from the shelf as well. We can even take this example one step further. Let's say you want to use these effects samples across multiple mixing sessions. Maybe you're working on a metalcore EP and you know you need those bass drops and snare bombs multiple times. You can actually dock the shelf to the edge of the screen so it is out of your way when you don't need it and then pull it back out whenever you need to add some samples. You can either add all of them at once or you can just pick and choose. It's kind of like your uh, personal dispenser of effects samples for the EP. Of course, you can always keep adding more samples to the shelf as you think of more effects you might need down the line. I'm just barely scratching the surface uh, what this one feature can do here because the dropover shelves can actually work with literally anything that's draggable. Aside from the files, you can drag folders, text, images from the web, uh, URLs, you name it. Another thing you can do with files on a dropover shelf is uploading them to a cloud service like Dropbox, OneDrive, Google Drive, iCloud and Dropover Cloud, which is Dropover's own cloud service. Dropover Cloud is what I use all the time to deliver final WAV files to my clients because it's incredibly uh, convenient and minimal on both my end and the client's end. All I have to do is drag the file over to the lightning button of a shelf and then release the file on the Dropover Cloud icon. As you can see, it's already uploading. And once it's done, the share link automatically copies to your clipboard so you can just paste the link anywhere you want. On the client's end, after they click the link, the file will immediately start downloading. There's no clicking download button or anything like that. This feature is especially helpful for sending multiple files like process stems or album masters because Dropover automatically compresses the files on the shelf before uploading when uh, there are multiple files. So you're skipping a step. Now, I know some engineers like to use a service that allows for time-based commenting and uh, playback on the web, like Dropbox and Firepass. If you like them, that's totally fine. They just never work well for me. I much prefer um, the revisioning process to be not web-based. Anyway, Dropover can do a whole lot more than what I have covered. I'm not affiliated with it. It's just incredible and uh, you should definitely look into it. Another super useful app I always use is Loopback. And I know this one is gonna be especially helpful for musicians and engineers who want to record or stream their DAW audio along with a separate microphone. Loopback makes routing audio on a system level extremely straightforward. For example, when I use Zoom to teach my audio production lessons at my local university, I want the students to be able to hear audio coming from my keynote slide, Reaper, for any uh, demonstrations, 
and Logic Pro X for my voice with live effects like compression and EQ. So in loopback, all I have to do is create a new virtual device, add Keynote, Reaper, and Logic as my sources, create a pair of output channels, and route the output of each of those apps to the output channels. Then I will select this virtual device in Zoom as the output and the audio from all those three apps will be streamed to the Zoom session. In loopback, I can even adjust the volume for each app, kind of like the volume mixer in Windows. Loopback also allows you to combine multiple audio devices and access them all at the same time in your DAW. For example, I can route my RME babyface, my USB microphone, a microphone from a headset, and my MacBooks built-in microphone each to their own dedicated output channel in loopback and then in my DAW, I'll be able to use each of them as inputs. If you pair loopback with a screen recording app like OBS, you can actually record the screen while also recording DAW audio and your microphone directly into the video recording as two separate tracks, like my setup here. You can see that in loopback, I have the DAW audio only device and RME mic only device enabled. And in OBS, I have each of them set to a different track. This way, when you're editing the video later, you can process your voice without affecting whatever you were playing in your DAW. It's a lot easier than recording the voice with a different DAW and trying to sync that to the screen recording later. Believe me, I did that before and it was a pain in the butt. I also use the loopback to record audio from Spotify into my DAW so I can use it as a reference track in Metric AB when I'm mixing and mastering. There are a lot more you can do with loopback. Just take a look at its website and you'll know what I mean. It's an absolute killer of an app for anyone doing audio work on Mac. The next app I'll show you is Rectangle Pro, which is the paid version of the popular free window management app Rectangle. I know there are a gazillion window management app for Mac out there, but one unique feature in Rectangle Pro has proven to be extremely useful to me, and that is Stash. What Stash does is it allows you to automatically hide or stash a window you're not using to the edge of the screen and unhide it when you move your cursor to the edge of the screen. This feature enables me to access frequently used uh, plugins in a session a lot faster because I don't have to manually look for the track where the plugin is and then click it open every single time. For example, I always dial in the rhythm guitar tone in the mix, meaning that as I mix the song, I would frequently need to open the AmSim and make incremental adjustments as I see fit. Once I make the adjustments, I close AmSim and work on other elements in the mix until I need to tweak the tone again. With the stash feature, I can just hide the AmSim to the right side of the screen, and every time I need to tweak uh, the rhythm guitar tone, I just move my mouse to the edge of the screen, and voila, the AmSim will appear, and I can quickly make adjustments. And once I'm done, I move my mouse out the Amazon window and it will just get out of my way. Another scenario, I'm mixing into a bus compressor on my master. With the stash feature, I can easily access the compressor whenever I need to tweak it by moving my cursor to the edge where it's hiding. And it will move out of the way as soon as I'm done with it. Obviously, there are a ton more ways to utilize stash. Is truly a game changer for me, and I think many of you might also find it's uh, find this app helpful. The next two incredible apps are actually part of the over 240 apps in Setup. Now, full disclosure, Setup is sponsoring this video, but I will tell you that I genuinely find a lot of the apps in Setup to be really useful. I actually use about 20 of them on a regular basis, and I continue to uh, to discover more every now and then. The best part about Setup is that with just one Setup license, you can not only have access to all these apps and all their updates, but also any new apps that joins the Setup roster. One of the included apps that I think is going to be really helpful for audio engineers and music producers is Better Zip. Better Zip is a powerful archive utility with Finder integration. As an audio engineer, I work with compressed files a lot. Clients always send me multi-tracks in zip files, and I archive past projects as zip, uh, as zip files, so they take up less space. The first thing I do after receiving a zip file from a client is to check if all the files are there and if the file naming is proper. Normally, I would have to uncompress it to look into the zip file, 
but with better zips integration with macOS, I can now just press the spacebar and take a peek inside. If you load a zip file in better zip, you can even open folders and do a quick look on individual files and extract specific files without uncompressing the entire folder. This feature is especially handy when I want to find an effect sample, like a snare bomb on an impact sound from, a, from an old project that I already compressed because I can just load the zip file in better zip, use quick look to listen through the audio until I find the one I want. And then I simply extract it. It's freaking amazing. Now, better zip can do a lot more than this, but this is just how I use it the most. Trickster is another app included in setup that I use many times uh, on a daily basis because it addresses a frequent pain point in my workflow. Every time after I rendered a mix from Logic, I always want to listen to it. So I would have to navigate to the, uh, to the render location via Finder or Spotlight, which may not seem like a big deal, but it really is if you do this all the time. I run into the same issue every time I export uh, YouTube thumbnails from Photoshop or encode a video in Apple Compressor. It's always an extra couple of steps to find the files I just created. With Trickster, this is not a problem anymore because it always allows you to access your recent files straight from the menu bar. You activate it by clicking the icon or using a keyboard shortcut. Whenever I export something from Logic, it's there. I export something from Photoshop, it's there. I save a screenshot, it's there. It's absolutely wonderful. What makes it even more useful is that you can do quick look, drag uh, to move or copy files, rename files, share files, and show files in Finder straight from the uh, menu bar as well. Now, I know there's a recent folder in macOS, but I'm sure you've noticed that it doesn't really work well at all. It never shows newly rendered files or recently accessed files. It doesn't work with uh, folders and you can not configure which folder it monitors, just to name a few. Trickster can do all of that and a whole lot more. It's crazy useful even just for day-to-day -day usage on the Mac. I even got rid of the uh, downloads folder on the dock because with Trickster, I can do so much more than just opening the downloaded files. You can see why I use it um, so many times a day. And I have a feeling many of you will find it just as useful, if not more. If just one of these two apps sounds useful to you, I guarantee you that you'll discover a lot more uh, among the many included in setup. You can sign up for a seven day free trial to give it a try and explore. Right now, for a limited time, you can actually get setup, one password, and masterclass for a really awesome price. It's a pretty great combo if you ask me. I'll put a link in the, in the description so you can take a look if you want. That's it for this video. Give it a like if you find it informative. I hope some of these apps will help make your workflow more efficient and make your life easier. Subscribe if you want to see more video like this, and I'll see you next time.